It is not always visible in the footage, but there were several tests where my facial expression was similar to this one. Hello, welcome to another pet filament testing video. I already tested two pet brands on this channel and don't mix it with the PTG. We don't have that glucose here. And with this, the mechanical properties are much better, but the printing is a little bit harder. Now I have here from Kitty Tech uh, PET CF reinforced with carbon fibers and PET GF reinforced with glass fibers. And since Kitty don't promote filaments, only printers, I have to buy this myself. But I got so many requests from the subscribers and uh, now you can see how important are my Patreon supporters because they make these kind of videos possible because uh, I earn approximately $10 per video and only these two filaments cost me more than $100 together with the shipping. Let's see some specifications from the website for the PET CF. Very low moisture absorption, great mechanical properties, high dimensional stability and great temperature resistance. And this is typical for the fiber reinforced filaments, but uh, I already tested those PET filaments. The mechanical properties are really outstanding. It is important to dry before the use, according to the website, uh, on 100 degrees Celsius between 4 and 8 hours. And we cannot use the 0.2 millimeter nozzle, but on the picture I can see 0.6 millimeter nozzle. I'm not sure, but I will try to print it with 0.4 millimeter nozzle. And of course, I need a hardened steel nozzle. It cannot be printed with the brass or similar materials. Now, according to the website, and closed printer is recommended, and many of you ask me if it can be printed on open printer. Yes, it can, but in that case, uh, the layer tension will be weaker because of that faster cooling. Now, the recommended print settings, uh, the temperature between 280 and 320 degrees Celsius, according to the website, but only on some points. On some other place, it has between 280 and 300 degrees Celsius, but anyway, I will print on 300 degrees Celsius, on X1 carbon. The bed to 80 degrees Celsius with some glue and the maximum speed 120 millimeters per second. This is approximately 10 cubic millimeters per second flow. Now on the other place on the website it has max 200 millimeters per second speed but properly I will limit it to 10 cubic millimeters per second flow rate. Now, as you can see on the website, we have a lot of information about PET CF, but the PET GF is so new that basically the page is currently empty on the website. We can only see that it is available in two colors, but I will use the similar settings like with the PET CF. On the box, we can see that it contains 15% chopped fiber reinforced material, and we can see some print temperature, and again, reckon with the max speed, in this case, 200 millimeters per second. So a little bit different from those informations which are on the website. So I would suggest to Kitty Tech to synchronize these two informations. This is very good packaging, protects better the filament from the moisture. And these bags are resealable, only don't forget to cut it above the sealing line. And on the sticker we have the basic information, but it is the same like on the box. The advantage of the glass fibers that it is transparent, so it can easily be mixed with the colors. Let's see how brittle are these filaments. Oh, brittle. Yes, both are quite brittle materials. And they go to the filament dryer now. But not on 100 degrees Celsius, only on 70 degrees Celsius, so I will dry them for hours. In the meantime, I got the answer from the kiddie that the material of the spool is polycarbonate and it can withstand the temperatures up to 120 degrees Celsius. In slicer, I use the Bembele PET CF profile as a base. I change the temperature to 300 degrees Celsius and the max flow rate to 10 cubic millimeters per second. And no changes in the part cooling. I think I didn't explain the reason why I am printing this on X1 carbon. Because if the company would send me the filament properly, their requirement would be to print it on some kiddie printer if possible. But since I bought myself, I have this freedom. And I even started a poll on my YouTube channel. And most of you voted on Bebo Lab S1 Carbon. And the reason for this is that in most cases I'm using this printer for the testings. And with this, those results are more comparable with each other. Let's see the printing. I'm starting with the PET CF. And I'm using engineering plate with some glue on it. These are the last few vertically printed test objects. The printing is finished.
And now switching to PetGF and I will use the same print settings. It's the inspection of the first layer, but it's completely okay. And it looks like this printing will be fine too. Okay, this printing is finished too. Mm, it looks beautiful. I'm starting with the tensile test with the horizontally printed test objects and this is PET GF and this is average from 2 and this is PET CF slightly stronger and now the layer adhesion this is incredible good PET CF this is weaker but this is great too Finally a technical filament with great layer adhesion. On tensile test small advantage on the carbon fiber version but the both are quite strong here. But this layer adhesion, even this 65 kg is good layer adhesion. But this is really incredible and finally we have a great technical filament reinforced with carbon fibers with a great layer adhesion. And now the shear stress with horizontal and vertically printed test objects. I'm starting with the horizontal ones. And here I know that I will have a problem with the carbon fiber version because it is usually stronger. And the maximum of this uh, hanging scale is 200 kg, so I have to stop earlier. And this is the deformation after this attempt. I switch to this crane scale with a maximum of 500 kg. But I don't like it because it doesn't show the peak of one movement, so I have to analyze the footage digitally. But 258 kg, this is impressive. My wife is telling me that I should lost weight, but as you can see I cannot because I need all this gravity force to be able to do this kind of measurements too. I hope you will appreciate this by clicking on that like or even subscribe button. Now let's continue. And these are printed in vertical position where the layer attention is important and again they perform great. This is some sterile strength in this material and I couldn't even find all parts. Let's analyze the graph. On shared test both are incredibly strong materials, but printed vertically this was incredibly strong thanks to that great layer adhesion, but uh, both are quite good in this test. Torque or twist test with horizontally and vertically printed test objects and I'm starting with horizontal ones. And I'm recording the load at a 90 degree rotation. And the maximal brake load in Newton meters. And these are printed in vertical position. Similar load but breaks more suddenly. Interesting to see that the carbon fiber version breaks more suddenly, even this printed horizontally, but of course the brake type is different until the vertically printed breaks along the layer, until this horizontally printed have uh, this type of the brake. Three point bending test and uh, these loads will be placed one by one and I'm measuring the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. Currently this is 1.25 kg load, now 2.5. Deformation under 5 kg. And under 10 kg and uh, quite stiff material with very minimal deformation. Both objects are perfectly straight so this is not big load for these materials. This is a deformation under these loads after 30 seconds and smaller values are better so this means less deformation on PET CF but uh, this graph is more interesting where we can see the deformation under these loads after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. And here we can see that almost in every case this is completely horizontal line. Only on 10 kg I can see some bigger change here with the glass fiber version but after this it became quite horizontal so basically both materials are quite stiff and uh, this is not big load for these filaments. And now the impact test with this half kilogram hammer and I'm starting with PET GF. PET GF, zero position, PET CF. Looks like no exception here, these are also very brittle materials like other PET filaments I tested so far. But let's analyze the footage, this is the zero position of the hammer and this is after breaking the PET GF and this is after PET CF. And if I measure everything from the zero position, I am getting this age difference in height and I can calculate the breaking energy. This also means that the carbon fiber version is slightly tougher compared to the glass fiber, but in both cases these are quite brittle materials. The creep test, the deformation under the constant load of 1.25 kg. Very minimal deformation. 
13.28. A little bit more deformation on the glass fiber version, but both are very stiff materials and now we measure them every day and we will see how much creeping we will have after 5 days. And now after 5 days it is very hard to notice any additional deformation on them. These are extremely stiff materials, like any other pet filaments I tested so far. 12.67 13.43 Visually the permanent deformation looks equal. In both cases they resist to creeping very well. This is directly measured value, this has within two reference surfaces. And the smaller values are better, this means less deformation. But with the creeping the difference between two days is more important and that's what we can see on this graph. And in both cases these are extremely small values. This small wave is actually inaccurate in the measuring, but in both cases they resist very well to this creeping. The temperature test in the oven, M10 nut as a small load, and I want to record the temperature of the first deformation. This is speed up time lapse video. And the first deformation I noticed on PET GF at approximately 103 degrees Celsius, and a little bit later on the PET CF. And then I opened the oven to see how hard or flexible are these materials. And you will see the PET CF is still quite hard and the PET GF is uh, soft and flexible. The temperature test was the last one and then I saw this information. This means that with annealing we can significantly improve the temperature resistance. And I have this experience with other PET filaments. The mechanical properties was improved too, but very minimally, but significant improvements I could experience with temperature resistance. So I'm printing now two more test object types. One will be for the temperature test and the other will be the hook where I will have two. One will be annealed and the other will be the reference. It was printed approximately in this position and interesting to see this difference in color. And here got 90 degrees Celsius, 3 hours. Uh, these are small objects, probably 2 hours would be enough too. They cool down together with the oven. Just a quick check of one dimension if they shrink. These two are reference materials. Glass fiber, 3925. Carbon fiber, 3928. And now the annealed. 39.12, 39.26, so shrinking is there but it is extremely minimal. But also what is important that there is no deformation on the objects. And now the second attempt, so these are annealed. And again the temperature test in the oven, this is extremely speeded up video. And you will see there is no deformation on these test objects. I stopped the experiment on 227 degrees Celsius. And I wanted to see how hard are these materials, and they are still completely hard and usable. Even now there is no visual deformation on annealed test objects, and interesting to notice here that we have this color change because of the different temperatures. And now the hook test for a speed reference material. And now the annealed version. And as you can see, there is a small improvement, but the difference is minimal. And now our results one more time without any comments. And these two lines will be added to that summary table for my Patreon supporters, so they can very easily compare this data to any of those from my earlier videos. And this table is basically my only gift for them. On screen you can see results of impact test, and I believe that this is the only weak point of this material. One more time being thanks to all my supporters, I really start to enjoy this freedom that I can just buy the filament like in this case if necessary, I don't have to wait for the companies to send me for the testing. And if somebody would ask me half years ago what is my favorite filament type, I would say it is uh, polycarbonate reinforced with carbon fibers, but slowly this pet PET CF uh, takes over the place, it is a uh, great material, fantastic mechanical properties, of course it requires higher printing temperatures, but this is not a problem for nowadays see the printers. And this layer adhesion is fantastic. Here is one graph I collected, these are all filament types reinforced with carbon or glass fibers, and here you can see how outstanding is this layer adhesion with the PET GF and basically CF2. And now about the telomere filament, always subject for the end of the video, I already got some uh, test objects printed by a company, 
they offered to print this for me if I cover the material fees. In the meantime, the Z polymeres also will send me the filament, but also the test objects which they printed. So I will have a lot of test objects because I will print them myself too. It's not easy for printing. The company sent me fair prints too, but this is subject for the future. Thank you for watching this video and happy printing.